Yo, what's up YouTube, it's Salty, and today I'm going to be showing you the new fastest camping strategy on the map Ancient Evil. So before we get into it, this is the loadout I'd recommend to use. Now the reason I'm running two secret sources is so that the raw secret source, I can run PhD on the early rounds. And if I go like round 100 plus and start running the trap strategy, I can run time slip too. For the other secret source, I'd highly recommend that you run Stone Cold Stronghold, as it's actually pretty intense here. And then in the later round, switch it to stamina up to run the high round strategy. Of course, the rest is up to you. So there's only one door that you need to keep close for this strategy, and it's the door right here behind spawn. And if you've seen the high round strategy video, you'll know that this works out perfectly. Now, I want to do the strategy itself, so this strategy is going to be like an 8 or 9 seconds before, depending on what you use. So all I'm going to do for this is just stand in front of the door kept closed, and that's going to put us roughly in the middle of all the spawns. Now I'm just going to shoot the Sharon on the ground, and that's going to kill all the zombies. Now something I forgot to mention in the other video was the Sharon doesn't actually drop any power-ups. So like insta-kills, double points, max ammos. Be sure to let off a few rounds of your RPG every now and then just to get the drops out of the way. Also another useful tip is be sure to hold on to the rare rewards. They're the only ones that have a chance to drop a max ammo so they could be the most useful in the higher rounds. But obviously make sure to try and get the epics to try and get your two free perks first. Now we'll get a common question that is, is it worth upgrading the redeemed gauntlets to the exalted gauntlets? Now a lot of people think that the upgrade only just increases the ammo from 40 to 50. But for the Sharon for example, it actually increases the charge shot duration too. Now from the redeemed, it only lasts 15 seconds on the ground. But when you get it at the exalted stage, it lasts 23 seconds, so 100% it's worth doing. One more thing is, I'm not the original founder of this strategy, so I'm going to leave his link in the description if you want to check him out. But that's going to be it for the video, so I'm just going to let the rest of the round play out. I'm pretty sure I'll get a boss too if you want to see how I deal with him. So if this video helped you, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.